Alright everybody, British man here and welcome to Escape from Tarkov. Uh, today I'm going to do a quick video to show you how to get better FPS and also how to reduce the stutters that you receive on Escape from Tarkov. Um, one of the main things that um, I've seen on a Reddit post but also on Twix video that he made, I think it was yesterday, was that um, Escape from Tarkov doesn't deal with multi-threading that well. Um, and basically due to that, um, you have to disable hyper-threading. That way you're going to be able to get uh, better FPS and reduce stutters. In layman's terms, do what I'm about to show you to do and it's going to look better. <laughs> easy, easy. So first thing that you want to do is you want to go to your file explorer. You want to go to view, options, go over to view. And make sure that hide extensions for known file types is unchecked. Make sure it's unchecked, hit apply, and hit OK. Reason for that is you're going to make a little text document, okay, such as this one that you're about to see. So go to the text document. You're going to call it EFT.BAT. Obviously, take away the text bit at the end. Once that's done, you'll get this uh, this little error message, but it's absolutely fine. If you change the file extension, the file might become unusable. We're going to make it usable. And we're going to name it EFT2 because we've already got the EFT1. Okay, so once that's done, you're going to go into the description of this. You're going to find out how many cores that you're going to need and you're going to put that in. But to find out how many cores you've got, best thing for you to do is go to this PC, right click it, go down to properties, and you'll see right there what you have. So I have the AMD Ryzen 7 1700 8 core processor. 8 core is the bit that I need to know. That's all I need to know. Then I'm going to go into the description of this video, but I'm not really because I've got the description up here. It's quite easy because I, I came prepared. <laughs> so I'm going to go to the description of this video and I'm going to go down to what it says 8 core. I'm going to copy all of this little bit. Control C, get off, right click on the little document that you made, click edit, Control V, paste it all into there, save it. And your jobs are good. That's it. That's it done. That's all you needed to do. How easy was that? It took me about an hour the other day. It took me about an hour yesterday because I didn't uncheck. Uh, I didn't uncheck that um, extension box. So I didn't uncheck the box that I showed you to start off with in the options in the view. I didn't uncheck hide extension for known file types. I didn't know what the hell that was. I left it on, and when I left it on. And I made a new text document, and I called it EFT.BAT, and then I opened it up, I edited it, I pasted everything in, I saved it like a good little boy that I was, because I made sure I saved it, and then I double clicked it, and it came up with that. And then I double clicked, and it came up with that again. And I was like, well, why is this not working? And then I realized, so I'm going to delete that, I realized, I sat and fiddled about with it. I changed the, the document type. So I needed to go here and I needed to unhide the extensions for known file types. That was it done. And now that I've done this, and now that you've done this, what you'll do is you'll open it up. You double click it. You'll look at that little box and think, what the fuck's that little box? And then you'll say, oh, look at this. This is the launcher. I'm going to click play. And then you're going to sit and go, that box is still there. What's the box doing? That box is working in the background. It's a clever little box. See, the box is, box is quite good. It's quite sexy. It's going to make it all faster for you. Right? Now what's going to happen is you're going to open it up. You're going to hit play. You're going to go over to your traders and you're going to see the difference in the traders as well as in the main file. And then you're going to play a game. And I'm going to show you a couple of videos at the end of this to show you what the difference is and the FPS types. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for it. I'm going to click that button when it loads up. If, if, come on. Come on! Here we go. I'm going to click that one on. I'm going to put FPS. I'm going to put 1. And I'm going to click Enter. And then it's going to say, OK. Near bother, Betty. It didn't even accept. It just doesn't want to work. Right, there we go. FPS 1. And there we go. It's going to say, OK. And you bother, Betty. And you're going to see there that the limit in the corner is 60, but the FPS is 61. Well, how comes that? What do you usually get? I usually get about 40, 48. Just decides that doesn't want to. 
So I'm going to go to traders and I'm going to have a look at the traders. I'm going to see how fast that they actually load up. Propo, quite fast. Therapist, fast. Fence, <sighs> fast. But that's that's quite fast. That's faster than all the other times. Right, so how is it getting this fast where I can just click on what I need to click on and it's done. I'm gonna go to the flea market and wow, that came up fast. Ammo? No, really? No, no chance. You're not this fast, talk off. You're not this fast. You kinda are like. <laughs> and there we go. That's escape from talk off. Done and dusted. FPS still stick to stick uh, still stuck at 61. You've just disabled hyper threading and you've done it off the back of everything. Congratulations. Now look at the videos and see exactly what the difference is. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you hit that like button. I hope you hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. Whoa.